surprise and welcome to a draw my life only about 10 years late to the party but better late than never as they say um let's start from the beginning which is always a sensible place to start i was born in leeds on the 8th of november 1992 which makes me 27 at the time of i'm um, recording this i am an only child and i was born to my mum and dad anne and clive hadfield um like i said i was born in leeds and lived in the north of England um, up until being about 24 but in the first house that I lived in I lived there until I was 17 so quite a long time um, which was in the middle of nowhere it was near Halifax which is a place kind of be uh, between Leeds and Manchester but literally the arse end of nowhere there was nothing around it was just fields and moors and we lived in an old farmhouse that had lots of land lots of falling down outbuildings which was great for my imagination as an only child to run riot, which it did. And I spent lots of time, pretending to be a horse basically, galloping around the fields outside, <laughs> being the horse, being the horse rider, being the stable hand, just being a jack of all trades basically when it came to horse riding. Um, but yeah, it was a very happy childhood and very wholesome and lovely and I, I loved living there. Um, and I think the biggest thing that my parents taught me, my mum and dad taught me through growing up was in anything in life, so long as you do your best, that's all you can ever do. And that was that was hammered into me, definitely. I was very much taught that, um, which applied to my schoolwork a lot. And I really enjoyed school and did really well through school because I really enjoyed it. But was always just told, you know, so long as you do your best, we'll be proud no matter what. It's only if you haven't done your best that you might get into trouble. Um, yeah, I did have quite a strict childhood as well, I guess. But like I say, um, a really, really happy one. It was, unfortunately, filled with some dark times too. My dad was ill for quite a lot of, of um, my childhood. He had cancer a few times, lost other family members, a grandparent, two of my aunties. Um, and there was quite a lot of loss. And my dad passed away when I was 17, so 10 years ago now. Um, so there were some really dark times, definitely. There's some times I can't even remember. Um, yeah, it was a really formative time in my life because of what was happening more so than maybe it normally even should be um, but of course from that came some good moments too at the end of it as always you do come out the other side of these hideous things um, which I did uh, mum and I left the house that I, I'd grown up in the one in the middle of nowhere and moved into a different house I left school at this point I had met my lovely boyfriend at the time Harry we were together for many years um, we met at school and we were together through university. Um, initially, I'd gone to do an art foundation degree at Leeds College of Art. I thought I wanted to do a fine art degree, but on actually doing fine, the foundation year, I realised it wasn't for me and that I really missed the academic side of things. So I ended up going to Leeds University to study history of art, um, which I enjoyed so, so, so much. I didn't move out of home at my mum's house until my second year of university. So I did two extra years at home than most people would do, just because I wasn't ready to leave home at all after everything that had gone on. Um, but then when I did, it was definitely the right decision. I moved into a little house in Leeds, completed my degree, and more importantly, maybe, at the same time as doing my degree, I set up an Instagram account, which at the time was called Shots From Above, because I was too shy to show my face. Um, so it was lots of outfits, just me sharing them without my face in it, basically. And I worked so hard at this alongside my degree that by the time that I actually graduated, it was a business, which was super exciting. From there, I moved to Manchester to be with um, my ex-boyfriend because he was studying there. We lived there for about 18 months, very, very happily. Um, and this is where my blog kind of really came into its own. I worked so unbelievably hard through these years. Like when I look back, I'm so proud of myself for how hard I worked and it kind of became what it is today really those are the years the manchester years i really do see as me putting down the proper groundwork for where it's got to um so that when harry and i unfortunately decided to part ways as um you know these things sometimes happen and i moved to london that was again sort of the second chapter of what was now called shot from the street um and yeah, moving to London was a huge decision. It was massive for me. I was 24, I'd just come out of a six year relationship, it was the furthest away I'd ever been from home. I was living on my own for the first time. It was massive, I was so scared, but I was also so excited and it was the best decision I've ever made to do it, but it was bloody scary at the time. 
Um, I lived in a flat in Notting Hill for the first year and then Holland Park and now I live in Shoreditch. Lots of you will know this, I feel like lots of you have followed along for these most recent years anyway. Um, and there's been massive, massive ups and downs in it as well. Lots of happy memories of all of my amazing friends, with Lindsay in particular and all the travels that we've done together, the content they've created. I've worked with some amazing creatives that have pushed me more and more and more. And my blog and business has grown and grown and it's been a, incredible and such a privilege and something I'm so proud of. Um, but there's been some really down moments too. It's been really difficult at times. I've had other relationships form and then unfortunately fail. Um, I've had lots of times coming to terms with being solitary and really my own independence, which hasn't been an easy road and is one that I'm still on. Um, I've had issues with mental health, all, all sorts of really down moments as well. But the past three years, that I look, or the two and a half years since I've lived there, I really think I've grown and developed more than in any other years of my life really. I feel like it's been an absolute baptism of fire for the way my just understanding of myself has developed really and that is painful going through something like that for sure um, but it's been incredible and I'm so excited to see what the years ahead have but for now I am single, living in East London like I said, doing this full time um, working through everything that's ever happened in my life, trying to be healthy as I can, but also just enjoying everything as much as I can as well, uh, which is always a difficult balance to strike, I think. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for watching. Um, I really hope you've enjoyed this little trip down my own memory lane. Um, and yes, I will speak to you all again soon.